I'm going to reach for this like kind of ribbon EIEDE cable, disconnect it, um, and do like the same for the cables attached to um, this uh, here floppy drive. Let's see what we got here. This is going to be a little interesting and difficult. Of course, they always make it a, a snap per se. So sometimes, you know, like you have to get an even pull in the wire because accessibility. And uh, finally, you get that to come loose. And uh, now, this is the 40 gigabyte eh, hard drive. I'm going to do the same for that as well. Now, with that in mind, all those are disconnected. Let's see here. Got EIED one. That's gonna be pretty much. That's gonna be my hard drive and my what you call it, my super drive connector. So let me just you know let me just double check, make sure. Um, ta -ta 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 -ta. All right, and that's exactly how it was, and it was on EIED one. Okay. Give it some power from the power unit. Make the video card on the radio on the 250 PCI. Grab a screw, grab that, and we'll go on another case punch. We're going to run into one case. It's built. Bam! Okay, what I'm doing is uh, going ahead and removing like face plates for the drives that are going to be um, having a face through the case. <laughs> um, so let's get a quick look at this here. So pretty much just play cl um, play close close attention to you know what came in terms of with your manual, and specifically what I want to point out is that uh, you have to pay attention to make sure you don't break nothing. And if you see this little pointer here. There's these little things that you have to kind of, um, you know, use like a flathead to get at, to get to pop the case at. So I had to kind of take a mental note where they are. Um, and I'm going to pop. Okay, here we have the bag of hardware that came with the new case. Um, also, I got the hard drive out finally. And that was a lot of work because, uh, the person who built this before me, um, I think they stripped the screws so they kind of through snagging my plan there. I decided I'm going to leave the super drive in there. And I'm taking the CD-ROM drive and the hard drive, putting it in there just to expedite this project. Um, and uh, I'm going to throw a fan down there as well. Okay, in terms of being uh, resourceful, I went ahead and also pulled the fan the front of the case fan that blows in some air um, from that original case to here sorry to make you guys dizzy and everything and uh, I'm gonna go right on and uh, see if I can get this clip in let's see here you gotta keep things cool and Antec is definitely all about keeping things cool let's see here right, bear with us everything's secure and snug all right, and so that you guys can see, here it is. All right, that's the bottom of the case. Uh, it pulls air in, so you got ample wire. It's going to make it right to the motherboard, yada, yada. Okay, now we're going to proceed with getting our drives installed. Pretty much getting your drives installed is pretty much lining them up in their bays and then getting the screws in, and that's what we're going to do next. Okay, here it is. We're going to put the CD drive in. Um, there's a couple of, like, you know, uh, I guess you could say clippets that it would uh, sit on or rest on. So, structural supports. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the CD. It's actually a CD recorder. And I'm going to slide it in through the front. Slide it in nice and easily. And, um,. I'm going to line it up flush with the case. It's coming together. 
Oh yes, it's coming together. It looks definitely home built. And then, you know, you could see the good old screw holes, so we're going to grab some screws out of our hardware bag, and we're going to line them up and screw them in. Okay. Um, I temporarily moved the new machine down. Um, it's coming together. She's coming together. Certainly, certainly. Um, a couple things I want to do is before um, I move forward, I'm going to remove the video card, the audio card, and the network card from the board. And I want to take note of all the screws and be prepared to install the motherboard onto the new uh, case. Now, um, pretty much that's uh, where it's at. And I want to make sure it's secure. I'm going to use all the hardware that came with this to make sure that everything works correctly. Alright, people. Alright, after a brief intermission, I decided to. Uh, get some food and we're going to remove the cards from this board here uh, so like the card that I'm removing right here is a Radeon 9250 PCI card it's a video card um, it's my baby uh, it's a great card I love these they're pretty good to use and for the old hardware that I like using um, they make the old hardware run nicely there she is great card indeed very noisy though. So I'm going to put that to the side. I'm going to put it on an anti-static with one of its siblings. I actually got a, another card. Now I'm going to go ahead and continue the process and remove the sound card from the motherboard as well. And boom, got that. I'm going to kind of just position it to the side. It's nice that it's Paul D's shop, you know. <coughs> it's a computer shop. And then I'm going to pull the network card off as well. And now pretty much, um, there isn't too much more left of this motherboard. Except I just wanted to take a note of where the screws are, which you should do as well. And some of the mountain hardware. The person, like, I inherited this second hand and I could tell that the person that built this didn't really care about, um, you know, getting all the screws and this, that, and the other. So, with that in mind, I'm just going to get ahead and prepare the new case for the new motherboard. But this is going to be a little bit different and interesting because we got to make sure that we take into consideration what screws are which and, um, and not mix the hardware up.